Hi, I'm Max. In this video I want to show you how to use the PolyDraw tool in Marui to do some retopo in VR. Thanks to Maya's powerful rendering engine, working with high poly sculpts in VR is not a problem. First, I use the tool settings to set the selection tolerance to a comfortable scale. There are many more settings to the tool, which I will explain later. To start, I just place some vertices and then create the quads between them by holding shift and pressing with the trigger. The PolyDraw tool can also extrude entire edge segments at once. I first work my way around the eye and then zoom in to do the details. One of the advantages of working in VR is how quickly and easily you can adjust your view. Next, I make the connection between the left side and the right side at the nose. The PolyDraw tool supports symmetry, so the geometry is automatically mirrored. Next, I work up to the ears and down the cheeks. I hold the ALT key to snap and merge vertices together after extruding edges. For the teeth I will not put any details. This can be done better later with a normal map and a texture. The more geometric parts of the model I just represent with some large quads. For the ears I set the edge angle tolerance of the PolyDraw tool to 180 degrees. This way I can extrude entire edge loops. Around the throat it is again easier to just place the vertices one by one. When I need to, I can switch to wireframe mode to see inside the model. Now you can also see the large amount of triangles of the base mesh. When wireframe display is too confusing, I switch to X-ray mode instead. It may seem confusing in the video, but remember that I see the model in 3D right in front of me. The depth perception helps a lot to understand the spatial shape. This is even more true around the apps, which are very defined in this model.
Now sometimes it can be hard to select a quad that has a weird shape. Then you can just hold both Alt and Shift and just touch the vertices that you want. These can be more or less than 4 vertices, so it's a good option when you have to create some triangles or n-gons. In case you're wondering if my arms don't get tired doing this, they don't, because I'm in a reclining chair and I hold my elbows to my chest. Again, when the choice of faces to create is ambiguous, I just select vertices manually by holding Alt and Shift. For the lower part of the body I switch to the extrude tool. More than just extruding edges, I can also immediately use it to scale the newly created edge loop. Once I make it to the bottom of the skirt, I switch back to the polydraw tool to do the details. For the legs, I start at the bottom and work my way up.
The object on the back of the model I make from a separate cylinder by using the extrude tool. The extrude tool can be set to extrude each face or edge in its normal direction, which is really helpful here. And that's it, now the model can be rigged and animated. Since all this happened directly in Maya, I can immediately continue without exporting or importing. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.